as we begin on the campaign trail. Former President Donald Trump's rally at Montana State University is expected to draw thousands of GOP supporters, while Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate campaign in Arizona as part of their tour of battleground states. This as both campaigns address the issue of abortion. White House correspondent Owen Jensen brings us that part of the story. Owen. That's right, Tracy. Good evening to you. Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris continues to blame Donald Trump and the U.S. Supreme Court for overturning Roe v. Wade. And Trump believes the issue of abortion is right back where it belongs after 52 years. As former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris battle for votes across the country, both candidates addressing the issue of abortion. Just yesterday in Wayne, Michigan, Harris's running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, tells workers at the UAW Local 900. And I've been saying it, and you've been hearing me say it. They will ban abortion across this country no matter what Congress says. And earlier in Wisconsin, Vice President Harris delivered the same message. We who believe in reproductive freedom will fight for a woman's right to choose. And her promise to the cheering crowd. And when I am president of the United States and when Congress passes a bill to restore the protections of Roe v. Wade, I will sign it into law. A recent Marquette Law School poll of registered voters revealing the economy by far will be the most important issue in deciding whom to pick for president. The issue of abortion tied for third. Former President Trump weighing in on abortion from Mar-a-Lago Thursday, saying it's been brought back to the states, adding he believes in exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother, and suggesting abortion will not play a major role in the campaign and the outcome in November. I think that abortion has become much less of an issue. It's a very small, I think it's actually going to be a very small issue. And he turns the tables on Democrats, saying they're the ones who are extreme on the issue. The Democrats are really the radical ones on this because they're allowed to do abor abortion on the eighth and ninth month and even after birth. Meanwhile, SBA Pro-Life America warning tonight that while Roe v. Wade may have been tossed out, quote, big abortion has struck back with an epidemic of abortion drug use, silent, seductive, and more dangerous than any other form of abortion, and calling the drugs, quote, an epidemic that could wipe out the pro-life victory over Roe v. Wade. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN Newsnight.